Here we have the square root of 4x to the fifth y squared over a to the fourth. Well, immediately we can take some perfect squares out from under the radical. The 4 pops out as a 2. So there's a 2. This x to the fifth, I can think of that as x to the fourth times x. So the x to the fourth is going to come out of here and become an x squared, leaving an x underneath the radical. And then the y squared is going to come out front as a y. And I still have my square root of x under the radical. In the denominator, I have a to the fourth. That pops out front out of the radical as an a squared, but it stays in the denominator. I just have an a squared in the denominator instead of a square root of a to the fourth in the denominator. So that's my answer. 2x squared y square root of x over a squared. Here I have 3 times the square root of 2b, all of that, squared. So when I have more than one thing multiplied together in a group here, and that group is raised to a power, then that power applies to each factor in the group. So in other words, this squared is going to cause the 3 to get squared and the square root of 2b to get squared. So the, the 3 squared is 9, and then I multiply. The square root of 2b squared is just 2b. So I have 9 times 2b, which is 18b.